so today I'm going to be showing you how I get Kamani to eat her medicine, what I have to do. I just scared her because I ran out because it's been raining all day. I got the day off today because of the rain, which is good for her anyway because she is just a baby. She just turned two in, I think, January is when they consider a horse to turn age. So I'm going to put you guys down while I prep everything real quick. You guys can watch me. It's Kamani. And um, if you guys want to see their nightly ritual of putting Boog and her in together, go back and watch my nighttime routine with Boog and Kamani. And that full video doesn't just show Boog running. It shows them being put in together and all that stuff. Hi, Mama Sita. Come on. Oh, it's all right. Come on. <coughs> While I'm grabbing this stuff, you guys can watch for a minute. Boog's pacing. You can hear her in the background. Hi, Kamani! She's like, oh, I know what's coming. So, I have to do her grain, um, her medicine, in a bit of a tricky way. So, I'm going to show you guys. <coughs> this is the grain she's getting. And then she's got the corn, oats, and barley underneath it. So, Boog, um, his owners don't mind that I give him a little, so he gets some. And Kamani doesn't really eat very much. She gets a little bit more than Boog, just because she gets medicine in hers. So what I'll do is I won't put the green in yet. She does not like apples, but I do have to have applesauce to mix it. So I do about three or four big heaping spoonfuls, and if I need more, I'll add more. You guys can kind of see it. And then this is her medication, making sure my address isn't on it. It's called Uniprim. The good thing about this stuff is I can keep it for when her 10 days are up. She's, today's her fifth day. Even though she's been here six, she started it five days ago, and she gets... A scoop and a half because she's just so little I give her a little more than a scoop and a half just like a quarter more <clears throat> because she does spit quite a bit out <laughs> she doesn't like her medicine but look at this she knows this in her time <laughs> okay that's pretty good <clears throat> so now I mix this ignore the hay it's not a big deal oops I am so bad at filming these types of angles. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, horses cannot eat powder like a dog or a cat can. Actually, I don't even know if dogs or cats can. They sneeze it out. So you have to mix it. And so, you see how there's still white powder along the edges? It's mixed in pretty well. So what I'll do is I'll take some honey. <sighs> And <clears throat> a little bit of molasses. And the reason I'm adding so many different things is just to get her used to it and to mix it better. So it's for two purposes. Because I eventually want to make um, horse treats for Kamani to try out. And so we'll do some molasses. That way I don't have to add so much applesauce. And then I'll mix it a little better. See how much better that already looks? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my throat. So then I'll pour in the grain. Mix that in. <clears throat> Sorry if the lighting's not the best. I'll try and fix that. And it looks like I need a little bit more grain. See, I don't like it super clumped like that. So let me go get some more grain. And I'll pour some more grain on top. I don't like it to be clumped. If it can be thin, I like that better. One thing, even though I know she just takes a little bite, I always give her the opportunity to eat it without me doing what I have to do. 
and ignore my pajamas. <laughs> it's cold out here. So. Hey, Mama. So, I know she poor, probably won't eat that, but I always give her the opportunity to. Yep, didn't think so. Like I said, she doesn't care for apples or anything sweet, but if I feed it to her, the more I feed it to her, the faster she'll get used to it. So, I just like to give her the opportunity because sometimes she will take a couple of bites. So what I'll do is I'll get a small handful of hay, and I mean small. So about this much hay, you guys can see that. She doesn't run as much when I open the gate. She will back up a little bit. She doesn't run. And I just smashed my mouth into the pen. So I'll lay a little handful of hay down and take some of this grain and dump it on top. Come back through and shut the gate and back up and leave her alone. And I'll leave her alone while she's eating. I'm going to throw boobs hay over. And this is the way I have to kind of trick her. And it doesn't always work with horses. So don't like try this and then be mad it didn't work. All horses are different. Please remember that. So while she's doing this, Boog gets his hay. And all uh, the rest of the grain doesn't come out that easy. So I'll have to use a spoon. And there's about see that, that much grain left. And if you guys seen, half that bottom was full. So I dumped quite a bit on there. Um, in the beginning, it was literally just like a spoonful on a big pile of hay that I had to do. And I mix up when I give her her medicine. I know some medicines, you cannot do that. You have to give it a certain hours apart. Um, <clears throat> but with this medication, they just said it's once a day. It doesn't matter. So the first couple days, she got it in the morning. Now the, these couple of days, she gets it at night. And it works. <laughs> It takes her quite a while to eat that little handful of hay because she doesn't want to get the medicine. But she won't get the next pile of hay or the medicine until that little pile is gone. And then she'll get all of her hay after this second amount is done. So obviously I will speed this up so you guys aren't watching 10 straight minutes. tonight just because the shelter's not very big in the part she's got it's big enough for them i just on a night like tonight no they kind of need to be separated so this takes her quite a while to eat and while that's while she's eating that i'll get the next amount of hay ready over there you can see her kind of head tossing sneezing and coughing that's why she's on this medicine See that snot coming out of her nose? That's exactly why she's on this. But I showed you how much was in that bowl. I'm gonna walk up, hopefully I don't spook her. Hey mama, hey mama. And I'll zoom in here. You guys can see she's eaten almost 90% of that grain that I put in that pile. It's okay. It's raining. So, the next thing I have to do when she's done with that pile is I'll lay down this handful and the rest of this grain, and then I'll feed her two flakes. That's how I have to give Kamani her grain and her medication. <laughs> 